sky belongs to all of us, or so we thought. Uh, but suddenly it seems it's possible for people to plaster it with litter. Anybody in the world should be able to see an unhindered sky in the same way we should be able to see uh, an unpolluted forest or meadowland. Uh, it's the same thing. We're now polluting the sky in a, in a way that nobody expected. A new space race has just started uh, to launch thousands of satellites and the idea is to give us all fast internet connections, which sounds a fantastic thing, but a lot of people are angry about it. It's bad for stargazers because those objects are bright, they're always streaking across the sky, and potentially it's very bad for collisions and making space a safe place to be. If you were looking with a pair of binoculars, you'd see dots of light sort of gradually moving across the field of view while you're staring. If you're taking a uh, five or 10 second exposure like an astrophotographer might do, then those same dots of light would end up as streaks. And so soon every picture will have stripes going across it. The study of the sky is tied up with the whole of human culture both its beauty and enjoyment, and the development of our technological civilization. This is the final straw. After polluting and destroying you know, the earth and the forests and the sea, now we've got rounds to polluting and destroying the sky. Mm -hmm.